Well, Aquarius, do you realize what's happening in your horoscope right now? I got it here. Oh, it's tantalizing too. It's the month of July 2023. I'm Dedichi. Thanks uh, for those of you who are regularly tuning in. To those of you that are new, come join us. We're going to have a bit of fun with the Oracle Express, the Karma Connections, those little dots on the paper which are actually representative of planets and what they are doing in your life karmically. Well, what's happening there in your seventh house? You have that Mars and Venus combination adding love and conflict to the romantic chemistry. It's a powerful conjunction. It intensifies <clears throat> over the coming days. And then bang on the third, you've got that full moon in your 12th house. 12th house is bed pleasures. <clears throat> it's those secret pleasures you enjoy with that special person. So you've got a double whammy, I tell you, Aquarius, with that Mars and Venus in the relationship sector with the full moon in that 12th house. So straight off the bat, we see the first week of the month is loaded with passion, with interest in the opposite sex, with exploration of the hidden side of life and those things in nature which are considered taboo. That's also the 8th house... <coughs> That's not triggered till Mars moves into that area on the 10th. So again, <coughs> the seventh house is the relationships you have and the Mars and Venus together connotate that, that sexual energy. But the eighth house is itself a powerful sexual house, one in which intimacy and uh, sexual energies are potent. And when Mars is there, my God, you're going to have um, some energies to deal with, hopefully, You've got someone you can share that with or some creative outlet to uh, give it a proper direction. On the 11th, Mercury moves into the 7th house. So again, that theme is still recurring. Relationships. Uh, Mercury is a commercial planet as well. So there may be, for some of you, some opportunity to crack open a new deal. Uh, investors people that are interested to work with you on uh, and collaborate on some important projects. This could be within your work sphere. This could be an independent line of work that you're contemplating. But all of these energies are very positive, good karma for you in that sense. The 18th is another very important date because that date is related to the, the new moon, sorry, which is going to take place at the sign of Cancer. Now, Cancer, for you, is the sixth house, which has to do with your health, <coughs> your vitality. And so this seems to be a departure from the other thematic ideas that I'm talking about here <coughs> for this month. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> And health needs to be looked at this month. It could be that, you know, just leave aside the sexual part of it, although that's, that could be included. The Mars and Venus does tend to push you to the limits in terms of your relationships, in terms of your social life. And therefore, there may be some pushback from your health. Listen to the body signals there, which are coming through loud and clear. This is the chest area. You've got the sun um, that's there. This is why we have a new moon, the transit of the moon coming into conjunction with the sun once every month. So we see where these new moons take place, full moons, new moons. These punctuate those directions, those departments of life that are going to be important to us. And there we see it, sixth house health, deaths, and to some extent, enemies. But the new moon is great, uh, Aquarius, because it tells us you're able to devise new ways of dealing with these problems, these health issues, new regime in your diet, a new lifestyle is coming for you. I'm so happy to be able to give you that prediction. Now, finally, 
29th. Mercury's really moving rapidly through the zodiac. <clears throat> Mercury then moves into the 8th house and it's going to make a, an imminent conjunction with Mars. This is communication, sexuality. It's a forceful sort of uh, combination of planets. It's also got to do with possible or potential disputes over money, loans, that sort of thing. So that will be more likely to uh, affect you in the coming month. We'll talk about that next month, at which point I hope you'll join me. Uh, old visitors and new alike. Before I finish up, don't forget, I have to say it, pop over to astrology.com.au, find out what else is going on this month that I haven't talked about. Uh, please subscribe, drop me a line. I'm always happy to receive your messages. And I'm always happy because I'm going to be back next month and I hope you will be too. Stay safe. Look after yourself. Bye for now.